Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rob. Today we're going to install Ubuntu 22.04 server to our Synology NAS. Uh, super easy. Um, first, what you got to do is go download the uh, the ISO file. Um, you can do that if you go to here. Let me get myself out of the way here. Nope, not that one. This. Shoop. Uh, go to linux.org, go download Linux, find Ubuntu, boop. From here, you're going to want to find desktop, or not desktop, you're going to find server. And then just download this 2204 LTS. And then put it um, on your NAS somewhere uh, that it can see on a shared folder somewhere. After you've done that, go into your virtual machine manager. Uh, you can install that with Package Center if you haven't already. Click Create, Linux, Next. For storage, I'm just going to pick your, your storage here. Name, I'm just going to call it Ubuntu dash server. Uh, I'm going to give it 8 gigs memory. You don't have to. You can give it 4. You can give it 2. Uh, video card, I always go down to VGA. Um, this is server anyway. We're not, I'm, not gonna, I'm just going to SSH to it and have it do stuff in cron and, and whatever else. Disk, let's say 250 gigs. Default VM network. Uh, ISO file for boot up. That's where you're going to find your stuff here. And which one is it? Live server, that one. Uh, the other stuff you're just going to leave alone. Go next. Uh, we'll let Rob do stuff with it. Power on the virtual machine after creation. Hit done. Creating, here it comes. Come on. All right, powering on, running. Let's see if we can connect to it. There it is. Hit enter. It comes. Take a second. So while we're waiting, go ahead and thumbs up this video. Here we go. Over there. All right, English, yes. Uh, let's see, da, 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 da. yeah, we'll try the new installer, sounds fun, it's updating, <clears throat> here it comes, all right, English layout, English variant, done, choose the base, uh, Let's do minimized because we're, uh, so I'm just gonna hit tab, I'm thinking. And then space bar once I'm over it. Additional options, third party drivers. Uh, we're not gonna do that. Configure at least one interface. ENS3 for ethernet. 
DHCP, that's good. Done. We're not going to create a bond. Proxy, we don't care. Done. Mirror address, sounds good. Done. Use entire disk. Boop, boop, boop. Now you can go to uh, custom storage layout if you want. I'm just going to throw everything right in the root directory. Uh, uh, it's doing LVM. Let's go back. All right, undo LVM. Done. There we go. Two two hundred fifty gigs right in root. Done. Continue. Yes, it's going to erase everything in that two hundred fifty gigs we put. Uh, so now we're going to add a username, Rob. Server's name, Ubuntu server, pick the username Rob, password, uh, done. So he's hitting tab and enter in spacebar. Uh, yes, install OpenSSH server, no, done. So now we can, we can install extra things if we want. So you can go in here, add Nginx or Apache or whatever you want. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna hit done. And now it's going. So if you didn't thumbs up earlier, now you get a thumbs up because now I've earned it a little bit. Or a thumbs down, whichever you want. Now's a good time to probably leave a comment Right, it's gonna take a minute, so we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. So it took a really long time on uh, curtain command in target. I'm gonna put that down as a tag in this YouTube video because uh, I've seen uh, some people complaining that it, it just stalls there and that's the end. But as you can see at the very top in orange, it says installation complete. So we're going to go ahead and reboot now at the bottom. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it probably took about 15 minutes. No, I don't care. I failed on mounting CD-ROM. We don't care about that. We'll see what happens here if it, uh, it reboots or what? Now let's go back over to here. Looks like I might have. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut down. Doesn't have the agent on it yet, so I'm just gonna force shut down. Yes. So highlight it, power on. Running, connect. Boop. <clears throat> Here it comes. Did we pick a password for root? I know we did for Rob. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I don't think we, I don't think we picked a password for root. Well, we're in as Rob right now. Sudo up. All right, so now we're root, so that's good. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, no ping? Really?
<laughs> I don't know if this worked. I think it, it might have failed. IP utils dash ping. Well, first, well. Well, apt update works, so we know we have network ability. Uh, IP utils ping. It's weird ping's not installed. I think it was on my other one. All right, so it works. All right, so next we got to do the uh, QEMU package. Um, I forget how I did that. QEMU. Is that it? Yes, that's it. I'll put that down in the description. <clears throat> so what that'll do, the, the agent, uh, as you can see on these other ones, I have the, uh, the IP running, not the IP running, the IP showing. Um, also, uh, the host CPU is, is down to like nothing. See on this one, it's at like 4.5. Uh, if you don't have the, the guest agent running, it's gonna, it's gonna run up there. Um, anyway, it just, it can talk to the, to the OS nicely. Let's go back, Let's see where we're at. Yeah, and here we are. Uh, just run IP space A, you can get the IP address of what you're running there. This one's uh, 192.168.86.61. We can go ahead and um, connect to it from any server on your network, I think. Uh, Netstat's not installed. Uh. Mm. Have to install net utils. Nope. All right. I believe Netstat's not not installed on it. You know what? Let's just find out here. So net Netstat. Da 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 da. Hmm. Net tools. That's what it is. Here it comes. So we're, we're about to find out if uh, SSH is installed. I'm running. Yeah. SSH is open and, and running on port 22, so you're good. Anyway, super quick video. It's really easy to install Ubuntu server on here. Uh, it took a little while, probably 10, 15 minutes to run through the install. Uh, once you're done, that's about it. Um, you can install from, or you can connect from, from one of your other computers on the network and then just run your cron stuff or whatever. I have uh, cron jobs doing backups from some of my servers. I have like domain name checks running, a um, bunch of stuff. Anyway, it's great to have a, uh, a VM running on there. Uh, we started with eight gigs of memory. We can, we can lower that down to like two or four now. Um, so it, it all depends on what you have in your NAS. So super easy. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up or thumbs down, do one of them. Put a comment down below, let me know what you think. And uh, I'm gonna do a lot, more, uh, a lot more videos on this channel in the coming weeks. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Boop.